hello and happy full buck moon to all of my Libras. Let's get right into it, Libras. Let's get right into it and see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. So on the um, on the second of so on the first, we had a moon in Sagittarius. On the second, you feel the, the effects of the moon in Sagittarius and Capricorn. On the third, you'll feel the moon in Capricorn. You experience the moon in Capricorn. And then on the fourth, you're experiencing Capricorn and Aquarius. So as this moon is moving through these zodiac signs, you're getting a feel for the emotions of that sign. So let's get into your readings. Let's get right in. Let's get into your general reading. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. Take only what resonates with you. All right, Libras, let's go. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Full Card, Ten of Cups, Knight of Coins, and the Lover's Card. All right. So um, Knight of Wands. Somebody is getting away from anything that just really, really grinds your gears, right? Getting away from all of that, right? Get away from all of that. So as you're feeling the effects of the moon in Sagittarius, as we move towards this moon in Capricorn, you know, you're thinking about opportunities for growth, good fortune, op you know, more opportunities coming your way. Like you want to shift your brain to say, okay... I'm, I'm closing out a phase within a cycle. We have eight major moon phases in one cycle. So I'm closing out a phase within a cycle. I'm getting myself mentally, physically, and emotionally prepared for a full moon phase that kicks off on the third, where I think the moon will be fully illuminated according to the Farmer's Almanac on, at, uh, on Thursday. I'm sorry, excuse me, on the third. I meant to say third, not Thursday. On the third of July at like four something a.m. You can go double check. I think it's universal time. But so if if it's the second of the month, you know, you still have time to charge your your gemstones and crystals and do your divination and harvest your herbs and those kind of things. It's about three days in and three days out from the full illumination of the moon where you still have time. So you know, usually people are like I would like to. I want to you know do it under one hundred percent illumination. But if you don't get a chance to, you can still supercharge your gemstones and crystals. Your um, your you can make your moon water, those kind of things, right? So you can look online to how to make moon water. Here we have the full card, also the lovers card. Somebody may have felt foolish when it came to a person that you thought was your twin flame, but not anymore. You don't feel that way anymore, okay? So um, I, I do see, you know, right now you're focusing on, if you have kids with the person, I see you focusing on that, like focusing on family or, or you know, maybe your little cousins, if you don't have kids yourself, or maybe nieces and nephews or that kind of thing. You like focusing on the innocence. And even if you don't have that, your own inner child, first and foremost, and watch how quickly things happen for you because somebody is focusing on loving themselves more and speaking to your highest self even more. We also have the Knight of Coins. So you're, doing, you're definitely doing the inner work. Continue doing that around the full moon. That's the time to think about resting. That's the time for thinking about protecting your energy. This is a time for getting ready to, like I said, close out the phase so that you can land on the bright side of the moon. You know, that kind of thing. So protect your energy, protect your energy at all costs, protect your energy. Here we have the um, Six of Cups. We also have the Star card. We have the Hangman. We also have the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of um, Seven of Swords, and also the Three of Swords. So here we have the Star card. So somebody is definitely hopeful, you know, moving forward. Someone um, is optimistic. Someone is definitely a bright light, you know, like shining your light bright, like sources saying, inspire yourself. You know, uh, you are, you're liberated from something. You're free, finally free from something because what it exposed was the lowest frequency in you, like something that really would cause you to think the worst possible thoughts about people, places, and things. And so again, you know, remain hopeful, you know, keeping your vibrations as high as you possibly can and focusing on communicating with your higher self using your sword, right? You may have grabbed a little bit from your sister signs, Aquarius and Gemini. So look at your birth chart and see as an air sign, if you have the uh, more air in your birth chart to kind of empower you to look at that from a higher frequency, because it definitely exposed some lower frequencies within yourself that you're thinking like, wow, it exposed some things that you're ready to say, okay, God, thank you for exposing those things in me. So I look and learn how to put those things into submission and walk, you know, walk in childlike faith. These are the same people right here. The, you know, same dog, same, same young man and same older, you know, wiser man here. And so I'm looking at, here we have the three of swords. So I do see somebody 
moving on from something that was initially very heartbreaking and deeply disappointing, but I do see you hanging in there. See, I see you hanging in there. You're not delusional. You're not losing your mind. None of those things. I see you hanging in there and I see you being more conservative with your time, being very conservative with your time because that is important. You know, time is money and money is not just paper and coins. Money is also your stability, your security, your mental and uh, physical security and stability. It's also patience. Somebody has, you know, this is uh, this, this um, feeling the effects of the moon in Sagittarius because somebody could be asking God for growth in your patience, growth in loyalty around you, you know, growth in prosperity, growth in career success, growth in tenacity. Um, stability, like somebody could be, that's a, if you want that, this is that window is open. You can be planting seeds for that as well. Cause it's not just paper and coins. Somebody's getting ready, wants healthier relationships with people. So you can also be asking God for that temperance card, discipline card, the sun card, la bruja, six of pentacles, and also seven of pentacles. All right, Libras, let's keep it rolling along. We got the temperance card. Somebody definitely, and, and, um, so Somebody definitely is learning how to discipline themselves and hang in there. Here we have the, um, uh, right here, the hangman, right? So there's two situations in particular. So it's like, just hang in there, just hang in there. You know, you could have definitely dealt with somebody who is a wordsmith, someone who knows how to say certain things to hit that, you know, that can trigger you. Um, and something about their energy, like I said, can trigger you. But again, here we have La Bruja. So it's just saying to you, um... You you um, are definitely getting some kind of messages, um, possibly from um, either good about good witchcraft or bad witchcraft, like somebody's putting spells or something. But remember, words can also cast spells too, right? So if someone's saying things to you, they could be casting a spell on you right in your face and you not even realize it. Like they could be saying something that causes you to think low vibrational thoughts like, you know, you and I could still be together if you had just done what my new significant other is doing or that that could be one. Or somebody could be saying to you at when the workplace, you know, um, I considered you for the position, just very manipulative and you did everything you could possibly do. I, I would have considered you for the position, but we had to go with your friend because this is what they offer and they could have been in cahoots with each other and you not even know it, trying to bring out the worst in you. So something is definitely going to help somebody to decide, I need to go ahead and cut ties. I need to go ahead and completely cut ties, right? Here we have the sun card. I thought I saw the, um, so yeah, so source is saying stay in your light. Stop looking for other humans, um, uh, other humans approval for things because you already have God's approval. You've been continuing to work very hard. Somebody could be traveling somewhere. It's really warm. So be conservative with your thoughts you know, about things. Don't waste your time. If you're away somewhere on travel, don't waste your time thinking about things. Get That's the time for you to plant seeds. If you want out of a situation, asking God for an exodus strategy. I'm telling you, when people go straight to God and ask God for things, God's like, I've been waiting for you. You didn't have to, you didn't have to sit in that, you know, sit in that deep disappointment for long. All you had to do was ask for a, um, you know, ask for um, a, um, an exodus strategy out of something because going through that kind of thing where people are casting spells, you could have been in a relationship with someone who is um, casting all kinds of spells in you and you not know it, or it can even trigger you to feel like, okay, well, if they want to go on that frequency, then I can go on that frequency too. And you may, you may think, okay, well, I need to go on that level too, to see what this is all about. Source is saying to you, mm -mm, you don't have to. All you have to do is go to God because it's the intention of what they're trying to do, sending out to the universe is going to come back and, and, and get them. For you, you're saying, I'm not trying to send out any negative energy in the universe. Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Empress Cards, Seven of Pentacles. Um, again, it's double harvest time for you. So only plant the seeds that you want to grow, which means like you can be planting seeds of, like I said, stability. So only plant those seeds. God, I'm planting these seeds of stability and I'm speaking leveling to this. I'm planting seeds of security. I'm planting seeds of loyalty. I'm planting all of that as wealth. I'm planting seeds of patience, right? All of that is wealth, right? Here we also have the Empress card. So I do see you maybe doing a cord cutting ceremony and just leaving a lot of hurt behind. Like you're literally still standing after a lot of 
horrible things were said about you, accusations, run smear campaigns, all kinds of stuff, and you're still standing. So here we have the Ace of Swords. This is all about motive. God is saying to you, ask yourself, what is the motive? Why am I giving people from my past who have continued to try to hurt me? Why, do, why am I giving it a second thought? Why don't I just recognize that people are cutting themselves out of my universe? And why don't I just move on in childlike faith? Here we have the Knight of Cups. So the only person that can save you is you. Somebody is, because again, remember your energy is directed outward, Libra. And the more and more you let people's toxins sit in your water and your energy is directed outward, you're going to say or do something that's going to come across as very toxic to people. And it's because you allow someone else to dump their toxicity into your universe. Remember, our bodies are made up of almost 70% water. So that's a lot you know, for people to come to you and have interaction with you and they're getting toxicity all because somebody wouldn't just go ahead and sever ties with something. Here we have the four of cups. And so you don't have to sit around and ruminate over this. God just wants somebody to take action, take action, take action, take action. Here is your card. The more scared we are of work or calling, the more sure we can be that we have to do it right? So Stephen Pressfield. So somebody definitely feels a little nervous about taking his next step and moving forward and maybe saying, well, this is more complicated than that. Again, take it straight to God. God expose what I need to do and give me an exodus strategy out of this. So I don't have my scales weighed down heavily, right? So think about a goal that you've been afraid to pursue, Libra. Close your eyes, inhale for three counts, then exhale for three counts. As you breathe, visualize what your life would look like if you achieved that goal. What is one thing you can do today to overcome your fear? So again, it reads, the more scared we are of a work or calling, the more sure we can be that we have to do it from Stephen Pressfield, okay? All right, so let's see what else we have here. Again, happy full moon, happy full moon. So if you don't catch that moon at 100% illuminated at four something in the morning, universal time, I believe it is, on the third, remember, you can still supercharge it on the fourth, on the fifth, you know, you still got a couple of days to do it, right? Um, as we move through these zodiac signs. Use your hands, number eight. Something somebody does using their hands makes them a lot of money, whether you're a songwriter, an actor, uh, whether you are a card reader, um, you could be writing songs, something that you're doing, directing traffic, writing uh, grants, you know, writing proposals, something that you're doing with your hands make, is making you, uh, is going to make you, either making you a lot of money or is, has already made you a lot of money. So kudos and congratulations to you all, Libra. Let's get ready to, we got that card. Let's get this Moonology card here. Let's get this Moonology card. Yes, let's get this Moonology card here. You are good enough. You are good enough. You are good enough. So that's what Source is trying to tell somebody is that you are good enough. I mean, if you were thinking that you weren't good enough, you definitely are. You know, and if somebody told you that you weren't and like they're trying to, you know, make you feel like you need to perfect this or you need to perfect that, those words are very powerful, right? And causing somebody to feel like they, you know, lower self-esteem. So protect your energy, Libras. Protect your energy, protect your energy. Or if somebody's doing something like, you know, um, trying to make you feel like someone is better than you are. You could be dealing with a person who is just a master manipulator. They know how to put spells on people using words. And if you're locked in and they, they know what your demons are, your insecurities or what your triggers are, they going straight in for that. And sometimes it comes across as aggressive. Sometimes it comes across as passive aggressive. But either way, protect your energy, protect your energy. And one of the ways you can do that is sit down and write out all the... Um, low vibrating thoughts and things you may have said to another person and out of frustration and attach it to a person, place, or thing, burn it, release it in love. God, I forgive myself and I forgive them. And if, and if, if it's meant for me to stay connected to these energies, then either way, give me some relief. If it's meant for me to release these energies, you know, give me an exodus strategy out of this. Number 12, I am a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. You ima your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. 
So learn from the past, but optimistically move forward. You can do it, Libras. You all can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And I see that you are doing it. Growth. That's right. Affirmations for growth. I am a work in progress. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I'm in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunity. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all on Motivational Monday.